I am Adil Kumar and here is a practice question for the students who are appearing for the new SAT. It is on inequalities. Now you may be required to do few questions at length. So these are not the multiple choice ones. The question here is given y is less than or equal to minus 2x plus 1 and y is less than or equals to 2x minus 1. In the xy plane if a point with the coordinates x, y lies in the solution set of the system of inequalities above, find the range of the solution. So that's the question for you. Now, for such questions, you may not be even provided a graph paper. So you may have to make rough sketches. Now, in both the inequalities, we have less than equal to. That means we could have a point of intersection and that could be a part of our solution right so let's find this point of intersection first so in these inequalities it's a good idea to start with a point of intersection as we can see both the lines are not parallel they are not perpendicular either you'll observe that the slope is minus 2 the other one is 2 so when you multiply them you get minus 4 and not minus 1 right it is not negative reciprocal so the lines are not perpendicular okay so these are two different lines one with negative slope the other one with the positive slope and we are looking for values which are on the lower side of the line right so before we rough make a rough sketch let's find the point of intersection so let's rewrite the equation y is less than or equal to we'll consider equal to now so then minus 2x plus 1 should be equals to 2x minus 1. So that is how we could find point of intersection. So if I rearrange it, so we get minus 1 taking it on this side, we get plus 1 minus 1 is again plus 1. And taking minus 2x to the other side, we get 2x plus 2x. So that gives us 2 equals to 4x or x is equal to 2 over 4, which is equal to half. So the lines intersect at x equals to half. Now if x is our half, what is y? Let's write down. y is equal to, if I substitute half here, 2 times half, minus 1, which is 0, right? 1 minus 1. That is to say that the lines intersect at their x-intercepts, right? So the point of intersection is x value is half and the y value is 0. So that is the point of intersection. And now uh, let us try to make a rough sketch and find the range for the solution. Okay, so we'll make a rough sketch here. So we know both the lines are intersecting at their x-intercepts. The value is half. Now for the first line y is less than or equals to minus 2x plus 1 so let's say this is 1 for us and the slope is minus 2. So if you move 1 then let's say this is 1 unit positive this is 1 unit negative this is 1 positive and here let's say this is 1 negative for us okay. Now y intercept is 1 minus 2x means slope is minus 2. So that means you have to go down by 2 units, 1, 2, when you move 1 unit to the right. So get this point. Joining these two points, we get our first line. So let me just sketch this line kind of like this. Okay. So that's the line for us. Now when we are saying y is less than so we, this is the line and we want to shade y as less than or equal to minus 2x plus 1. It means what? It means we are looking for points which are on the downside, right? Less than means lower than this value. So it's kind of like this. Let me shade that region as this, right? So that is the region which is represented by this y less than or equal to minus 2x plus 1, right? Is it okay? So that is how you can sketch one of the lines. 
You can now pause the video and sketch the other line, find the solution. The second line here is y is less than or equals to 2x minus 1. So the y-intercept is negative 1 and the line is rising. Right? So that is the point where it is going through. We also found that these lines intersect at half, the x-intercept, this point. So this is a common point for both the lines. I could join this and sketch my line, right? So this becomes my second line. Now when we say less than, that means we are interested in the region which is on the lower side of this. Is it okay? So lower side will be kind of like this, lower side of this. Right? Now the solution is very clear. And from this solution, we can write down our answer. So in the xy plane, this is the xy plane, that is the horizontal x-axis, this is y-axis. If a point with coordinates xy, any point here is xy, lies in the solution set of the system of inequalities above, find the range of solutions. So range means what is the maximum value it could have and what is the minimum value. So from here it is clear that the solution is kind of in this side. Right? So this portion under this. So where both these solutions meet. So that is the maximum value and the minimum value is negative infinity. Is it okay? So this point which is at half the x-intercept for both the lines. So the maximum value is xy value is half and zero and minimum it extends to to infinity right so it goes kind of to infinity is it okay so minus infinity to it could be minus or plus but the y values infinity so the minimum is negative infinity is it okay and therefore we can write range range we are interested in y values is y belongs to real numbers such that y is less than equal to half, zero. So y value is zero here, like this. It is actually better to write the signs uh, in this way. I will rewrite this. We say range, let me write down answer in a different form. The range will be y belongs to real numbers where y is less than or equal to zero, right? So it's good to write down lower values on the left side. So maximum is is zero the minimum is minus infinity you would also write this in interval form like this from minus infinity to zero where zero is included right? that's alternate way of writing the same answer i hope with this video you understand how to solve inequalities and how to write down their solution if a multiple choice question is given to you once you know how to solve, you can always select the right answer. I am Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.